guys, this is Randy Stavo, and today I'm just going to introduce um, the Kami Whiteboard app. It's pretty easy. You have a free 90-day trial. I actually went for the paid version after the free trial because I love it so much. I'm going to go over three things, three ways that I use it or I can see how it's used in the classroom. Um, so we'll go over just pulling up a document, um, how to pull up a document, and what the capabilities are. We'll go over my specific use to collaborate in and outside of classroom, how to bring my personality into the classroom. And third, we'll do a little bit of feedback. Hopefully, we'll get all of this under seven minutes. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so when you go to the home page, you are going to see these, these different ways that you can upload documents. Now you can upload PDFs, Word documents, PowerPoints, anything you want. You can use your Google Drive, your computer, um, your OneDrive, and as you can see, um, over here you can add, um, you can have classroom assignments, you can have different templates that they have which are great, and then you can add new pages. You can have a blank page, you can have lined page, you can have grid page, you can even have um, music scores, which are pretty neat, and you can put them all in there. I'm not gonna do that now because I have some things that I already have laid out for you. So the first would be like a language class. Now this could either be English, it could be um, a foreign language, and it's actually, it's pretty amazing. I won't go over the toolbar right now, but I do want to go over some of the capabilities that we have here. So one part that is absolutely excellent is that it can read aloud. So even if you have an image, it can find the text and read it aloud for you. It really is great. So here I'm highlighting this text and now the students can read it if they want to hear it. Instructions, complete all of the sections below. You will need to interview for... Um, it's 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 great and then also um, you can change the the type of voice you can change the speed if you want students want to really work on the pronunciation they can slow it down and hear it syllable for syllable it's um, excellent now another thing that I like to do is I like to personalize it a bit so I can take a comment and then I can actually read the directions I can just give it a voice command and then you, you just have it right in there as your voice command. And you can see that I can read the instructions out loud and then the students have it. So you give it that little bit of personal touch that you have there. Okay, another thing that's really great is the collaboration, the way that I would use it, the way I would love it to see my own children use it. So this is like an interview of some sort. Again, I don't speak Spanish, I don't know it, but the kids can collaborate. They can write in their answers, they can text, they can draw if they want to draw, you can change the line size, you can change the colors, you can do all of that good stuff that you want. But what really, really is great is that the students either um, simultaneously or at different times, they could add their own audio. So you can practice hearing them speak the language out loud, whether it's a foreign language or not. And here I'm pulling up a video so I can actually act like I'm talking to the students. And then you can pull it back and then it saves there. So me as a teacher, I can come in and I can, you know, give feedback, great um, communications, great pronunciation. And the students can also respond to each other in that way. It's Pretty amazing um, that the students can interact even if they're online and even in this document and we can save it. Um, you can also screen capture. So if here, and I'm just going to select the full screen, you can change the window size if you want and things like that, but for this I'm not. And here, and I use this often in math class, that I can just start typing and correcting and then the students can see my actual work on there. Um, it's great and they can see exactly what you're doing and again the video pops up. Um, this is just one small capability. Um, you can It can read full stories, you can put a PDF in a story, it can read a full story. Um, like I said, it's really, really good. Slow down the pace, pick it up. I wanna show you other ways that I, uh, that I personally use it. So this is just a way to get the kids engaged and um, I think I did this about two months ago. We were just going into quarantine and um, it was just a meme drop. So students copy and pasted memes from online telling me how they're feeling and then they put them in, in just in there. It's just to show that media can go in there. And then we had a brain dump and as you can see, I just put a YouTube video in there with a 90 second timer and the video plays and then students, any way that they want, they collaborate and they come up with anything that they know on the topic. You see some kids like to draw and write, some kids that use text boxes and you can change all these things, but it can be highly collaborative. This was another class. Now I did this class in two ways. This was the live Zoom class and you can see that students, they put comments on the sides, they were writing, they were changing colors. I also add these a little emojis here that I make that look like myself and I add them all in there to give my personal touch in there. And then because of the current situation going on with our school, 
Um, there's a lot of kids not in the Zoom class, present in the Zoom class, but that was okay because they have the same thing. And what I did is I just made the instructions um, as videos. So if I play the instruction, it'll say, hey, what's going on? This is what this class is today. They can, the Kahoot is there for their pre-assessment, which I of course can save um, there. And then all the directions. Now, if you see these little dots next to here, these are videos that I made. So they're not missing any of the lecture because now there's video lectures in there. So they're going to watch the video and then do the directions. And you can see for each one has a difference, um, either video or sometimes I put in a PDF or something else that they can a link to somewhere. So it's still completely interactive and it adds my touch because they're still hearing my voice. They're hearing things like this. And then here we have a matching. I know it's not aesthetically pr pleasing, but it's great because students, they just move around the figures and they do a vocab match at the end. And again, what I did is I put them in breakout rooms, they discussed it, they moved it around together and they have it. The students have their own access to the sheets so they get to write and then I can look at everything at the same time. So it's live, it's live access so I can watch them as they're doing it. As this was here, it was head one. And again, I put little, as they were working on it, I put little comments on it to say, great job, there you go. Here's another one um, for chemistry class. As the students were in breakout rooms after the lecture, they were working and I was adding feedback and adding these little things so that they know that they're on their right track. So even though I'm not physically there to watch them, I'm able to give direct feedback while they're working. Um, it also saves tremendously on, you know, grading after class and this, and the students still feel like you're there. Like I said, you can put in your extra media. There's your YouTube video if you want to just put in some um, extra um, media right in there. And then there's stickers, and the stickers come with some great flow charts if you, and graphic organizers if you want to use them. And I know that usually high school kids don't like them, but I still. And I make my own stickers, and I put them in there all the time so you get that personal that personal feel right there. So I think I'm out of time. I would have liked to talk more about feedback, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So I think that's it. And I hope you use Kami. It's wonderful. And I am out.